Good morning. Welcome to uh, join us for today's lecture. Uh, today we are going to talk about finite graph types and graph incompatibility. Before the lecture, let me briefly introduce myself. I'm Yong Chun Luo. I got my BBN and PhD and master degree at Taiwan and PhD degree from Mississippi State University. After I got my PhD degree, I went to University of Florida to do some postdoctoral research. Uh, today's topic we are we are talking that we are talking about the finite graph types. The graph types are determined by the energy presented on the membrane of red blood cells. They are highly dietary polymorphic molecules. In human, we use the ABO system to determine blood groups. In phenyl, uh, we use the AB system to decide the uh, phenyl and the case blood types. However, the, there is no relationship between human ABO system and phenyl AB system. In phenyl, the Cat graph many A, B, or A, B graph types. These graph types are determined by the energy of the red blood cells. For the type A red blood cells, uh, there are NEU5GC or type A energy on its membrane. For type, for type B red blood cells, there are NEU5AC or type B antigen on the membrane. For type AB red blood cells, the membrane has both type A and type B antigens. The blood types of CAT are determined by the CAMHG gene. Uh, this gene encoded a protein called CMAH or the Actually, it's an enzyme. This enzyme can convert NEU5AC, the type B antigen, into the type A antigen. In type A cats, because they have an intact function of this CMAH gene and protein, therefore, uh, it can the the antigen on membrane will all be converted into type A antigen. As a result, they show the type A. They are type A. For type B test, because the function of CNAH gene and protein lost, th therefore it will only present the type B antigen on its red blood cells. For type AB test, have, uh, this gene have only have partial function. As a result, both type A a antigen and type B antigen will presented on the back of its membrane. And genetically, these graph groups are determined by three different alleles. The type A have a, is determined by the A allele. Type B is determined by the B allele and type AB is determined by the AAB allele. The order of allele dominance among these three uh, alleles are A, the second one is AB and then is B allele. What does this mean? This means the a allele is the dominant to the B and both and A B allele. Allele A B was uh, is dominant to B and recessive to the A allele. This means if a cat have a both uh, have a, an A allele from either its father or its mother, as long as one allele have a, is A allele, then the phenotype of this cat will be graph type A. And only both allele are B allele, the cat will 
we we assume the D phenol types. So for the graph type distri distribution among the cats, based on those uh, dominance of the different allele, we can easily see type A is the most common graph types among the cats, and type B is less common generally. But it may be prevalent in some per, de per degree grades, and type AB is rare in among the cats. Okay. Let's take a closer look at the uh, blood types, how they geographically distributed in different areas, and how is the relationship in non per degree cats and the degree case. Uh, let's check the lung in breed case first. Uh, this table summarizes uh, some, some investigation in Asia country uh, of the lung in breed case blood type. Uh, we can see uh, in the Taiwan, Japan, China, Israel, and Turkey, the type A definitely show the most pre uh, prevalent in different countries and type B is rare uh, it less common and AB is rare but still there are some difference uh, uh, different population among three different blood types and different countries similar results were observed in studies done by different uh, investigated at different countries like in USA, Canada and Brazil. Uh, still we can see blood type A is most dominant blood types. B is less common. For countries in Oceania, like Austria, New Zealand, uh, we can still see A is most common. Although the percentage of blood type A is less compared to other uh, area we just showed above. And for the case in European countries, similar re results uh, were seen in this table. Still, blood type A is most common blood types, although different may have some countries have a more percentage of Blood type A case and some have the fewer, but still, blood type A is the most predominant uh, uh, blood group in non degree case in all around the world. And then let's check the per degree case blood types and its uh, geographic distribution. Uh, since they are more interesting, in per degree case because in different countries those per degree cases may break from quite different gene pools. So in some cases the frequency of blood group A and blood group B cases can vary between countries. So the likely blood group of any individual cat should never be assumed. Still need to do the blood hygiene. Otherwise, don't just take a guess what what this uh, what kind of blood type would be for this cat. This will be a risk, a da dangerous thing to do. And then let's check the uh, in the inbreed cats in the British how the how those species of the blood uh, groups like in British short short tail. It has more uh, blood group B uh, cats in this uh, in this particular breed, and for German and Randall also has a higher, a little bit higher percentage of blood group B compared to other species. Uh, this is a study done in Spain. Here, and the percentage of the blood group B is still high for the British short tail, but 
is not as high as those tests in our British. To summarize the study done in Italy, and it showed quite different uh, results. So that is important. It need to be not this important, not just assume what's the blood type of the cat without doing the blood type. And so what's the clinical importance for the uh, feline blood types? There are two relations associated with the uh, feline blood types. And all those all those are related to the iron antibody in the cat's circulation. Uh, this will cause the incomparable blood transfusion reactions and neonatal isoamysolysis. So let's uh, look at blood transfusion reaction first. This, uh, this reaction is mainly caused by the Allen antibody. The Allen antibody is a, of the feline AB blood group system. It's the pre presence of the naturally occurring antibody against the blood type they take. Uh, th this means, like for type B cat, it will have an Allen antibody against the anti uh, against the A antigen. So actually, all the type B cats have more than three months old have high tighter naturally occurring anti A antibody, which will cause the hemolysis and hemagglutination. Uh, if the a cat uh, was given a type A blood. Uh, however, not all of the type A cats have the Allen antibody. Uh, briefly, about one third of the type A cats will uh, have the measurable titers. It's weaker compared to the type B cats uh, against the type anti uh, with the naturally occurring anti B Allen antibody. For type A B cats, they, they do not have any kind of anti-A or anti-B antibody. Uh, so let's uh, summarize in this table. Uh, for blood type A cats, they have a type A antigen on their red blood cells. Uh, in their set blood, like the serum or plasma, they have a type anti-B antibody. For the type of B cats, it has type B antigen on its red blood cells and has a type A anti-A antibody in their serum or plasma. For type A B uh, test, they have an A and B antigen on their red blood cells, but they don't have any antibody against the A or B uh, in their serum or plasma. So what causes the, what's the transfusion reaction? If a type B or AB blood transfused to the type A cats, usually have a weak hemolysis. Uh, that's from what we just mentioned. Type A cats, about one third of type A cats have a uh, measurable uh, anti-B anti antibody. But if a type A or AB blood transfuses to type B cats, because type B cats, all the type B cats have high title of anti A antibody, it will definitely, definitely cause the acute hemolysis, and usually they are, that's a, uh, they are fatal. And Although type AB cats do not possess any kind of anti-A or anti-B antibody, theoretically, they should be able to accept blood transfusion from type A or type B cats. But 
because type B blood have a high titer of anti A antibody. So if the type uh, if the type A B cats get the whole blood from type B cats, those anti A antibody will attack the uh, the A antigen on type A B's red blood cells. So if the type AB case requires transfusion, type AB would be the best choice. And if you cannot find any better option, then type A blood uh, would be much better than type B blood. So even though we even though we know the uh, blood types of the case. Cross machine test is still required prior to the transfusion because some cats have additional antibody against the red blood cells like nick antigen. Therefore, performing cross machine test prior to transfusion would definitely decrease the risk of immunologic reaction. Besides the cross machine test, uh, the ABCD suggests all the cats no, uh, donor need to be screened for core positive of the uh, respiratory virus like the FELV, FIV, and also the mycoplasma vena uh, and bartonella. Those are weak. Core parcels you need to be screened for the cast donor. And if a cast is in the endemic areas and then this like uh, cytosin phase, babesia, leishmania, rickia, and uh, plasma uh, also suggest you need to be screened. Uh, the cat donor need to be free of those infection. And then let's take a look at the neonatal isoerythrolysis. This usually occurs when the type B queen gives birth to type A or AB kittens. Once kittens get maternal antibodies by suckling colostrum during the first days of their lives, they will also get a anti a alien antibody from the Ramalo. And those alien a alien antibody will recognize the anti a antigen on the red blood cells. As a result, we will cause the hemolysis. That's what we call neonatal isoerythrolysis. Uh, this is an immunologic genetic problem only seen in cats but not in dogs. So how this uh, will, how this occur? How do we prevent this from occurring? If the kitten is from type A male and type B female female there will be three combinations and three different results. If a type A male has a layer of AA and then all the ketone will be type A and all the ketone will have the issue with the neonatal isoerythrolysis. And if the type A male has the A and AB allele, and then the type of B queen will give birth to 50 per, the 50 percent of ketone will be type A, and 50 percent ketones will be type AB. And still, this means all the ketones will have the neonatal isoerythrolysis issue. If the type A male have the A and B allele, and then 50% of ketones will be 
type A genotype and 50% will be type B and that means 50% of the kittens would have, would have the issue with the neonatal isoerythrolysis and if the type of AB male cat uh, mating with the type of B female there are two uh, combinations for the male it, with both A, B, or B, then all the kitten will have the type of A, B phenotype. Means all the kitten will have the neonatal isoerythrolysis issues. If the type of A, B male have the A, B, and B allele, then fifteen percent of the kittens will be type A, B phenotype, and this fifty percent. Of the kitten will have an issue with the neonatal isoerythrolysis. And the clinical future for neonatal isoerythrolysis depends on hemolysis grade and stability. So, the degree of hemolysis or stability are still unknown, but the large variation in clinical signs, which is a little suggest difference in cholesterol antibody uptake as a determined factor. Some may die in a few hours without presenting any kind of clinical signs. Others stop suckling in the first days of life and then fail. Uh, so the then clinical sign for neonatal isoerythrolysis uh, is dark red brown urine, which should indicate severe intravascular hemolysis and hemoglobinuria. And also, jaundice, anemia, and weakness with death occurs occurring in the first week of life. For those who survive, they may develop tail tip necrosis later. So that's why the phenol blood typing is important uh, to the cats. Currently, uh, there are three different methods of the, for the phenol blood typing. The first one is immunochromatography, that's what we call the ready test. And second one is agglutination test and the third one is the genotype detection and what's the the immunochromatography is strip is a ready test they use the anti-A and anti-B antibody uh, to detect the antigen when uh, presented on the red blood cells of the cat for the agglutination test this use the anti-A antibody and or the weak leg tip to recognize the A antigen or B antigen of the blood cells. And as for the uh, genotyping, uh, as, as we mentioned previously, phenyl blood types is determined by the CNAS gene. So the phenol blood type is basically do some genotyping of the CNAS gene. And if the cat has intact CNAS gene, that means it will uh, it show that it has the A allele. And for the B allele, it already been known, uh, there are some mutations already be related to the B allele, and also some mutations already been identified related to the A B allele. So, by the genotyping, uh, you will we'll know the genotype of the cat, that means we will know the, that it is A allele, B allele, or A B allele.
Welcome back to our Q&A session. Uh, thank you, uh, Jerry, for the first question. When is the blood uh, transfusion needed? Usually, uh, the blood transfusion, if the cat have the uh, anemia or the acute blood loss, when the PCV is uh, below, is below 10 to 15 percent, we usually would consider to give the blood transfusion and if we give the whole blood uh, there will be three parts of the contents including the red blood cells, plasma and the platelets and all those may be important for a cat with acute blood loss and the second question uh, okay to Jenny the second question is about the genotyping. The genotyping, the methodology is, is based on uh, like uh, this slide uh, because cat blood types are determined by the CNAH gene. This gene, uh, the, in the, this gene encoded a protein or just called CNAH protein. So actually, it's a, an enzyme. This enzyme will convert all the NTB enter uh, will convert all the B enter gene into the A enter gene on the cat blood cells. Once there are mutations in this CNAH gene, and those if the, those mutations cause the function of this CNAH protein totally lost, then this uh, protein will be able to convert the enter, anti, uh, will not be able to convert B energy into A energy. So on the blood cell, we only have the B energy. Then the phenotype of the blood type, of course, is the blood type B. And if it's, and there is are uh, some mutation identified uh, related to the type A B blood uh, phenotype. That's because those mutation will only cause partial uh, dysfunction of this protein, and so some of the type. Of B energy still be able to be converted into type A energy and some of them cannot. As a result, both A and B energy will present it on the type A B red blood cells. Now let's pass the uh, technology that, that, uh, for the genotyping. And thank you for your participation. And that's for all for our uh, lecture today.